think when you vote, you get to pick your leaders, right? Wrong. Before you get to the ballot box, politicians have already picked you. In fact, if you voted against the politician who won, they can literally cut you out of the next election so you can't vote against them next time. It's a nefarious process called gerrymandering. When Americans vote for Congress, we vote in geographical groups called districts. Those districts elect politicians to send to Congress. Districts are supposed to be drawn, so they accurately reflect how people vote across a state. So if a party has 50% of the vote, they should get about 50% of the representation. But here's what really happens. Once politicians get into power, they can redraw district lines to effectively guarantee their re-election and skew statewide representation, regardless of how the people vote. Sound like cheating? It is. In fact, because of gerrymandering, 84% of all congressional districts across America are uncompetitive. And none of Ohio's are competitive. Before the election even starts, we already know who's going to win. Ohio's a swing state. That means about half the voters support each political party. But one political party holds 75% of congressional seats. How is that possible? Well, if you live in Cleveland, for example, you might think you'd be voting with everyone who lives in the surrounding Cuyahoga County. But politicians have drawn these crazy district lines that stretch all the way from Worcester to Canton to Akron so they can control which voters get to vote in your district. Gerrymandering is about political power. And both parties do it when they're in charge of drawing districts. And it means political insiders have more power than voters when it comes to who gets elected. The US is the only democracy in the world that allows it. Okay, we're a republic, but you get what I'm saying. But here's the good news. Voters can enact new laws to stop partisan gerrymandering. We can make it so both sides have to agree on how districts are drawn, taking the process out of the back rooms and putting it in the open. Bye-bye, self-serving politicians. Hello, voice of the voters. Share this video to spread the word.